Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and it is time for Duels of the Planeswalkers 2014 Magic the Gathering DLC with Dodge and Burn. Is it? You know it. I know it. Blue and red is the best goddamn combination ever in Magic the Gathering. Ever since I started playing this game 15 years ago, blue and red has been my favorite combination, and nothing has changed um, now and now in Magic 2014. Jeez, I can't believe I've been playing this game that long. Um, yes, my first deck was like a really janky blue-red aggro deck with like Spindrift Drakes and uh, Unstable Mutations and a bunch of Burn Spells and Lightning Bolts. So it was really, eh, it was not that good. But this deck here, we see we got Cancel, Counter Tower to Spell. We got Mnemonic Wall, which I'm not sure if I like it that much or not. But um, we'll see how it plays out here. And of course, Electrolyze. And Browbeat. Jesus, all these cards are so good. This is the Is It deck that you've been waiting for. I know previously in Duels of the Planeswalkers, like, a lot of Is It decks were bad. Now, he's going to keep my lands on tap. He's going to play a 2 2. He's going to gain him life, except he's not because I'm going to electrolyze it. And this thing is not actually a huge threat to me in any specific way, but A. Um, I don't need something swinging at me. B, I don't need him gaining lots of life because typically with dodge and burn, the main th way that you're going to win is by killing all the creatures and, well, yeah, killing all the creatures and burninating the countryside with Star Storm or whatever. But basically winning with burn to the face. So if your opponent gets a huge life lead early on, they gain 10, 20 life, anything like that, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And I like to use my electrolyzes here. Um, and not counter magic or anything like that. The main reason being, and that was a little risky because there's always a chance they could have like top decked the land, um, but because of the way stack here it works. Um, what was I saying? I like to use the uh, when you're playing blue red control. Okay, when you're playing blue red control, he's got artisan calls like uh, far heavy enough. The most important thing you gotta remember is this. Use your burn on things that can be burned and save your counters for things that you cannot burn to death, okay? So in my opinion, that's like the most important rule of playing an instant and sorcery heavy blue-red control deck is you do not use counters. Uh, first of all, you don't use removal at all on things that are not a threat. You don't burn it or counter it if it is not an immediate threat to you, okay? You leave it on the board, then you deal with it later. If it is immediate threat, and you, if it dies to fire, you throw fire at it. You take your flamethrower and aim it right over there, charge to the face. Like, that's a 1-1. One, one. I am not going to burn that thing. There's absolutely no reason to burn that thing. Um, and I, I, because he's playing Moldai, I don't really see a point in um, waiting for Star Storm. He's not going to get a whole field full of fatties. Um, he, I know he's got Artisan of Kozilek. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many lands does he have? Let's flip this here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he could play Artisan and Cause like next turn. So I really need to keep my mana open so I could counter it uh, with Cancel. So I will have to discard a card here because I have 8 cards in hand. But my point was, burn things you can burn. Counter things you can't burn. Uh, learn when to know the difference. It's like that old wise tale. I'm going to get rid of um, Mnemonic Wall. Could go... Because he's not going to have a lot of stuff that I really need to block. Most of the stuff that's the most dangerous, it's like blocking is pointless anyway. Now he knows that I'm sitting on all his land, and he uh, he knows I've seen his hand, so I know he knows what I know what he has. And he plays Palaka Worm, which he clearly just top deck. I'm going to counter that. And no, I cannot burn Palaka Worm. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I could, in theory, burn it, but I'd have to use two spells on it, and then he would gain seven life and draw a card. So really, uh, he would win out big time from that. So I'm just going to counter that. I still have a cancel in my hand um, you know, for his Artisan of Kozilek, but he knows... That I know he's got artists in the console like, and I really wish I had drawn a land there because what I would love to do is to play Bra um, you know, Wee Dragonauts and then have Remand in hand. Um, Remand, by the way, is one of the most powerful counter magic spells ever made. Oh my god, why he top decked another goddamn thing? It's an 8 8. It is an 8 8. I could cancel it, but I really need to say the cancel of Artisan Kozilek. Like, I cannot let him resolve an Artisan Kozilek. He's reading Remand. So what Remand does is it counters a spell, but instead of it going to the graveyard, it goes back to his hand, and then I get to draw a card. So all Remand really does is one and one blue, just pretend nothing happened at all. So it's like, he gets his card back, I get a new card, that's it. And you might think, what's the point of that? The point is, he wasted his whole turn now. He paid a bunch of mana and nothing happened. He swings at me for one. Whereas I now have an extra turn to draw the lands I need. And look, I just drew a land off a of remand. Um, really cool. It was a very nice spell, but it's going back to your hand. Okay, and now I finally have the two red I need. And I would have preferred to be in a position where I could, I don't know... Uh, be in a position 
where I could have had remand at the same time I had the five lands and played the Wee Dragonauts and remanded it and has some more tempo advantage. You'll notice that this is like what I don't even know how we've been playing four minutes, five minutes or so so far from Far Heaven Elf not countering that. Um, so it's been this far into the game, and I've not done a point of damage to him, and I'm already 18, so this is not looking good for me. The longer this game goes on, in my opinion, the worse it is. And I, I honestly believe, although maybe most people's decks aren't built this way, the Chantal Muldaya, that Chantal Muldaya is one of the hardest matchups um, for art for uh, dodge and burn. I was going to say artful dodge. Let's see here. So now I feel totally safe. I got six lands, so I can drop uh, my Weed Dragon. Let's make sure I have two islands still left on tap for cancel. Um, him, I cancel. I have a lot of burn. I wonder how much damage I could do in one turn. Okay, so he's got one three. So now he can't swing me with one ones anymore. I'm open for the cancel. I am open for char if I need it. Char! Okay, Jesus, I watched too much Pokemon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love these decks in real life. I am really looking to the Theros release in real magic because I really think there's going to be a bunch of cool red control cards that really haven't been around in a while. Some cool sweepers. I think there's like the Anger of the Gods, the Wrath of the Gods. He gets Eye of Uja, and that is really bad for me. And here comes Honey Boo Boo, Ulamog's Crusher. Do I want to spend two cards killing it? No. Do I want to spend two cards killing it? I could charge twice, but then I'm going to have to tap out, and then he's going to just play Artisan and Kozilek. But he plays Artisan and Kozilek, I'm in trouble anyway, but I could browbeat and draw into a new counterspell, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> he's a 20. He's a 20 life. And the good thing is this. He's only got one card in hand, and I know it's Artisan and Kozilek. He doesn't have any combat tricks. He doesn't have that goddamn spell that's like tap the attacking creatures, and they don't do any damage. So there is that. There is that. I do have that. Um, what I also like about this deck in general is it's just so completely, uh, hilariously explosive. And here I'm going to play, um, I'm thinking about, let's see, if I draw Terramorphic, because I don't have anything that costs seven anyway, so there's no point. I have one card, Fire Blast, that costs six, or you could sack two mountains. Um, and I have t a bunch of cards that cost three each. So there's really no point at all into playing the island first. I don't have anything that's going to cost the extra. And yeah, I could do this later, but I just want to not forget it. And, you know, the, there's lots of bugs in Duels of Planeswalkers where, like, you think everything's going fine, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, you know, all of a sudden you can't, you're can't skipping your combat step. And I'm just making sure here that I have the right mix of lands. Like, I'm, I'm keeping up two blue in case one of the three cards I draw, I draw into a counter magic. So my guy's going to become a 3-3, three, three, and now he has to choose, do I draw three cards or does he take five damage? I'm totally fine with either one. I would, I guess I'd prefer to have the three cards if one of them's counter magic, but I'll take the five damage. I don't I don't know if that's going to really help me. He's a 15. I swing for three, that'll bring him to 12. If I char him, that'll bring him down to eight, plus it'll be a five. It'll be a five? Five, three? How much did it get? Plus two, plus oh. And uh, let's see, Char does two to me. That'll be yeah, 14. I got Fire Blast, which I can play for alternate costs. So if I charm to the face, that's going to bring him down to 11. Then my guy's going to become 5, 3. Yes, 11, right? So 11 minus 5, 6. So I need to just do six, 6 more damage to him. Fire Blast deals. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have to be fucking kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Fire Blast. Fire Blast. Oh my god, Fire Blast. Fire Blast deals four damage to him. And not only does Fire Blast deal four damage to him when I sacrifice my two mounds, it is going to pump my guy to plus two plus oh. It's going to become a seven three creature. He's going to be exactly seven life. And ladies and gentlemen, I just did 20 fucking damage in one turn. I love, is it? I love red and blue. I love <laughs> Taj and Burn. I am, is a player for life. This is what the DLC is all about. Everyone on Wingspan TT from TopTreeTactics.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll come back next time. Cheers.